Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The name of the twelve apostles are this, first, Simon called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into the pagan territory or enter a Samarian town. Go rather to the lost sheep and to the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is a hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From this Gospel that we just heard, let us meditate on two aspects. The first one, let us meditate on the calling that Jesus does to his first twelve disciples, that is, the apostles, and then on the mission that he entrusted each one of them. Jesus' calling of his apostles was not a casual event, but a deeply intentional and spiritual act. Each choice was imbued with prayer and discernment, reflecting the divine mission to save all humanity. God does not desire the death of the sinner, but that they convert and live. In the Gospel, we meditate on how Jesus calls twelve disciples. Before choosing these twelve apostles, Christ spent the night in prayer to discern his selection. This act of prayer underscored the importance and seriousness of the mission he was about to entrust to them. Christ gives these twelve the power to cast out unclean spirits and to heal every kind of disease. The number 12 is not arbitrary. It represents the 12 tribes of Israel, symbolizing God's desire for all men to be saved. This universal desire for salvation also highlights the importance of apostolic succession, demonstrating that Christ entrusted his power and mission to these men to establish a lasting church. Dear brothers and sisters, Christ's call is not just an invitation, but a profound commitment. He calls these men to be with Him, instructed them, and teach them His saving mission. Because every act that Jesus did, every miracle that Jesus performed, every word that Jesus said was word there were words and acts of salvation. Jesus came into the world to save men, and He shapes His disciples to adopt the right attitude and carry out their mission. They must heal disease, addressing both the physical and the spiritual dimensions for the human being. It is crucial to understand that Christ's call is not based on descent, Unlike the Old Testament, where priests came exclusively from the tribe of Levi, with Christ, priesthood is a vocation, a divine and personal call. Christ, the high and eternal priest, calls men to participate in his ministerial priesthood by vocation, not by inheritance. If you feel a calling to the religious life, and especially to the priesthood, I invite you to write me an email or get in contact with your diocese or in your place where you are and come before a priest and have them help you to discern whether God is calling you to live a religious life or a priestly life. God touches the hearts of these men. We know that Peter, Andrew, James, and John were fishermen. And Christ called them to be 
fishers of men. Matthew was a tax collector, but when called by Christ, he rose and followed him. This man healed the seas and cast out demons with the authority of Christ, not with their own authority. Another central theme of the gospel is the mandate and mission that Christ gives. Go and proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven can be understood in three or four dimensions. Eschatological, pointing the second coming of Christ in glory. Christological, begin with the incarnation of the Word in human history. And then we also have the dimension ecclesiological. And lastly, the dimension moral dimension, calling us to a radical conversion with joy and hope in eternal life. These two elements, the call and the mission, are essential. The same mission that Christ gave to his apostles is now entrusted to the Pope, Bishop, and Priest. Go and proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is near. This mission should motivate us to conversion and to love God above all.